This is the OK State Sports Report on the Triple Play Sports Radio Network. Now with all the latest on the pokes, here's Jordan King. Good Friday to you. Last night, the Cowgirls got off to a great start for their regular season down in Beaumont, Texas against tournament host Lamar. OSU dominated long stretches to grab a 3-1 win, and several bright storylines emerged. One of those was the debut performance from freshman Olivia Dowell, who sat out against Tulsa as an injury precaution. She made her presence known last night. She scored OSU's second goal and had a nice pass to Gabriella Coleman for the third. Coach Colin Carmichael on the freshman's play. Yeah, Olivia was great. You know, first off, she looked good, but probably wasn't in the game as much, and maybe was a little bit of nerve. She didn't get to play against Tulsa, so that was her first outing. Um, but I thought second half she was dynamite. You know, she caused problems, created a goal, scored one, could add another one, had a couple of great reps at goal. So I was really pleased. That was a great debut. She played really well. Senior leader J.C. Jones got the scoring going just before halftime with a nice finish. She also assisted Dowell's goal. The Cowgirls will now rest up and prepare for Sunday's match again at Lamar, but this time against UTSA. Last night, media got its final chance to chat with football players before the opening game, now just a week away. Triple Play's Tom Dorado talked with Brock Martin about what the biggest difference is from last year to this year on the defensive side of the ball. As a group on defense, we trusted a whole lot more than we did last year. You know, last year was we kind of had some guys who were, you know, kind of unsure, kind of maybe did their own thing every once in a while, and then they showed up on film, and, and it kind of showed this year like that we should definitely trust this plan and be comfortable with what he has to say. Martin will be part of an inexperienced defensive line, but one that both Joe Bob Clements and Greg Richmond say is deep enough to rotate and keep fresh throughout the game. The media will also get its last chance to talk to Coach Mike Gundy today at noon. Triple Play will carry that during the Robert Allen and Friends show, so make sure you don't touch that dial. Quick update from day one of the PGA Tour Championship. In the new format, Ricky Fowler started at two under, but went one over in round one. His one under score slides him five spots into a tie for 21st. Charles Howell started at even par. He was two under yesterday. He sits in a tie for 17th. Victor Hovland watch. He is well inside the top 25 after day one. He was four under and tied for 14th. I'm Jordan King. Do you have friends who are pokes on Facebook or Twitter? Check out the 9 a.m. Sports Report every day on social media and share it with your cowboy and cowgirl friends. This has been the Oklahoma State Sports Report with Jordan King. Brought to you by Twice the Ice and Stillwater, now in Perkins. For all the latest in cowboy and cowgirl sports, stay tuned to your only home for sports talk with an orange flavor. The Triple Play Sports Radio Network.